Okay, we're going to look at extended quadruped. It's a very um, important exercise because we are actually lengthening the lever of the spine via the shoulder girdle. Probably what's most in this, uh, misunderstood with a lot of um, uh, developmental kinesiology approach. When you lie on your back and you bring your femurs past a right angle towards the trunk, it's actually that angle of the thigh which effortlessly pulls the spine along so there's no muscle doing it, it's global. So the, that, that, that requires an overall coordination. So when we challenge the spine this way by going longer with the lever, we're, we're challenging TL junction as we go into extension. So what I'd like you to do, Jordan, is take your hands out one and a half hands lengths. And now we can see that the shoulders, shoulders are extended relative to the same spinal position. Now, uh, you've already got great length between your end points. I'm just gonna check your intra-abdominal pressure and you've got great fullness. Now, what I'd like you to do is to start to glide towards vertical arms without losing anything in your setup. Now, my hand on Jordan Sacrum has just given him the sense of what's traveling. So he's, uh, he's keeping the same overall proximal body as he glides forward. So the challenge is really to be able to keep the postural length without uh, falling through in the spine and or flexing at the base of the shoulder blades. Okay, you can see he's almost at vertical with the arms now if you look at the line of the trunk relative to the line of the thighs, we've almost got like one line. That's very good. Now stay there mate, I'm just going to, if you like, push from your pelvis towards the, the butt of your palms. And you don't let me buckle you, that's right. And so by doing this, we actually heighten the sense of the cylinder working within um, from the perspective of the intra-abdominal pressure push. Okay, very good. Start to push back against my hands. Good. Now the pelvis is traveling backwards, back to where we started, which is vertical thigh. All right, so that would be an example of a very good, like one rep of uh, extended quadruped gliding. Um, like even to do three, three reps of this that well is a, is a big challenge for the attention and a big challenge for the ability to keep uh, spinal length and, and quality intra-abdominal pressure.